the white corner, standing nearly seven feet, weighing 390 pounds, disputed wrestling champion of the world. That's the biggest arm in the world. The man who calls himself the ultimate object of desire, the mountain of molten lust, the one, the only, Thunder Alert. The Rocky series line came out punching with both series 1 and 2. You didn't have to be a toy collector to appreciate the highly detailed and movie accurate action figures by Jack Pacific. Unfortunately, series 1 wasn't given enough time to breathe on store shelves and pegs before series 2 came out. And without any advertisement, the only ones who knew they were out were those who frequented toy stores almost every day, like myself. By late November, Adrian, The Meat, Brett Musburger, Roberto Duran, action figures were all warming the pegs, leaving no room for fresh figures to be stocked, giving no reason for new orders to be made. And that's when Toys R Us, the biggest toy retailer in America, stopped carrying the Rocky toy line altogether, gouging that eye out of the tiger, marking the beginning of the end. Before ever winning championships at Madison Square Garden or slamming giants at WrestleMania, he was taking on the Italian Stallion and breaking them in half. Let's check out the packaging. From top to bottom, we see the new color scheme for Series 3 with the same clamshell design from Series 1 and 2. And then we've got Thunderlips with his hat on the side, he's wearing his cape. At the very bottom, we got a picture of Thunderlips getting choked out by the Italian Stallion and then that little sticker telling us what year this was from. All along the side, we have classic steel shots from Rocky 3. And on the back, we got four figures at the top, four at the bottom, plus Joe Frazier from Rocky 1. And a small little bio of Thunderlips right in the middle. It's not completely accurate, but it's okay. Slaves out there, Thunderlips is here in the flesh, baby. I'm coming after you, Before I say anything negative about this figure, I want to look at all the positives. Starting off, this hat. It looks pretty great. It fits on them a little loose but I think it looks fantastic on him. This is when Hulk Hogan still had hair. So he must have been very happy with this figure. And the likeness, I think it's dead on. This is a great likeness. He's got big old sideburns. The body that they used, big old bulky slab of meat of Hulk Hogan. They got the wrist tape, the white trunks, no knee pads. And those small red boots. Check out the cape. That is just fantastic. Look at that. It's got like some texture to not just the lettering but also the lips. Lots of glitter on it. This is one of the best figures in the whole line because of everything that I just mentioned. Now there are some missing things. Thunderlips came with a whip to the ring. The figure does not come with a whip. He also came with the wrestling championship to the ring. This figure did not come with a championship. Without the cape, still looks just very iconic and fantastic. Super pokey figure. Look at those giant arms. Now there was another Thunderlips made. Same exact mold, same everything, except for a different style cape. In the special two pack of Rocky and Thunderlips, which was a mail away exclusive, the little balls on his cape were actually little fabric balls. And then the lips were puffier. They looked like they had Botox injected into them. 
And that's about the only difference. He still didn't come with the whip, he still didn't come with the championship. And now let's take a look at his articulation. He has articulation at the head all the way around, at the shoulder, bicep, elbow, wrist all the way around, waist, hip, knee, and ankle for 18 points of articulation. This figure is pretty top heavy and so his ankles sometimes can't take the weight. One other thing that this figure is lacking is height. Putting him right next to Rocky, you see that he's not that much taller than Rocky. For filming, he did step on a little lift, but still, Hulk Hogan at this time, he's six foot nine, and Sylvester Stallone is five foot ten. The ultimate male versus the ultimate meatball. <laughs> on my final analysis of this action figure, all the positives outweigh any negatives. This is an excellent action figure and it needs to be in your collection. Even if you're not a Rocky collector, you're a Hulk Hogan collector, you gotta have this. You're a Rocky collector, you gotta have this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and come on back as I'm gonna be reviewing the next Series 3 Rocky action figure. Uh, you're in trouble. Man. Series 3 might, might be, be the, the best, best series in the line with what I believe only one dud in the series. Series 3 brings us 7 iconic single pack figures. One throwback to Series 1 true to life heavyweight champion of the world. The card now features pictures from Rocky 3 and the back of the card features a whole new format compared to the previous series. With half the roster at the top and bottom and a bio of the figure's character in the middle. A boxing ring that was really a WWE wrestling ring only with Rocky 3 accurate stickers. A KB's exclusive three pack of Rocky and his two best pals. A European gift set filled with so much testosterone it might need testing. And what you gonna do brother? With the internet exclusive pack with two of the most influential and iconic action superstars of the 80s. Although we might have reason to mourn, let's not pity the fool. Turn on that jungle jump music, dust off that crop top, grab your friends, cause it's time for that Eye of the Tiger Man. Nothing is weird if you don't believe in who you are. There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. Hey woman. Hey woman. What's the truth, damn it? I'm afraid. Hey woman. Hey woman. Listen here. I really do hope you enjoyed this and I really appreciate your support. Don't send me any money. I don't have any Patreon. So if you could, please just hit that like, hit that subscribe and maybe share. If you can check out, maybe click this video or maybe even click whatever that is right here. What is that? How did it get here? <laughs>